If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Put on the Ritz. Hello folks, this is Alan and I'm back with another movie review for you. And to continue my tribute to the late great actor-comedian Gene Wilder, I'm here today to review the 1974 comedy classic, Young Frankenstein, directed by Mel Brooks and starring Gene Wilder, along with Marty Feldman, Madeline Kahn, Peter Boyle, Terry Garr, and several others, uh, in this wonderful comedy classic that basically sends up every single uh, Frankenstein movie uh, up to this point, and of course, as well as spoofing the original Frankenstein novel uh, by Mary Shelley. Um, in fact, just to give you a little more detail, the plot of this story is as follows, reading it from the back of the DVD. Uh, Mel Brooks's monstrously crazy tribute to Mary Shelley's classic pokes hilarious fun at just about every Frankenstein movie ever made. Summoned by a will to his late grandfather's castle in Transylvania, young Dr. Frankenstein, played by Gene Wilder, soon discovers the scientist's step-by-step -step manual explaining how to bring a corpse to life. Assisted by the hunchbacked Igor, <laughs> uh, played by Marty Feldman, and the curvaceous Inga, played by Terry Garr, he creates a monster, played by Peter Boyle, who only wants to be loved. Cloris Leachman, Madeline Kahn, Kenneth Mars, and Gene Hackman co-star in this inspired vision of lunacy. And that's basically your plot of Young Frankenstein. Well, Young Frankenstein. I mean, what needs to be said about Young Frankenstein, folks? This movie is a comedy classic. I love, love, love Young Frankenstein. It's just so brilliantly funny, and it's a wonderful, absolutely wonderful starring vehicle for Gene Wilder. He is wonderful in this film. Everybody in the film is wonderful. Um, everything about Young Frankenstein really, really works a treat. Um, I really think that this movie is a, is a wonderful homage uh, to uh, to those early Frankenstein films that came before it, as well as the original uh, Frankenstein novel uh, written by Mary Shelley. Um, I mean, right down to the last detail, the black and white photography, uh, the, uh, the Frankenstein laboratory equipment that you see in Young Frankenstein was the actual laboratory equipment from the older Frankenstein films. Um, just, just right down to the last detail, this is just a marvelous... Uh, parody uh, uh, to, to all those previous Frankenstein films and the original Frankenstein novel. I think uh, Gene Wilder and Mel Brooks's script that they co-wrote together is wonderfully funny. Wonderfully funny stuff. Uh, Mel Brooks's direction is terrific. Mel Brooks himself doesn't actually appear in the movie. Apparently, it turns out Gene Wilder wouldn't let Mel Brooks <laughs> appear in the film. He says, Gene Wilder told Mel Brooks, you direct it. I'll star in it. <laughs> so that was the deal the two men had uh, on a Young Frankenstein. So Mel Brooks stayed firmly behind the camera for this movie, as well as co-writing the script with Gene Wilder, and Gene uh, starred in, in, in the show, so to speak. Um, but everything about this, this movie works. I mean, um, first of all, the cast. The cast of Young Frankenstein is just wonderful. Every single cast member in this film is terrific. I mean, what needs to be said about Gene Wilder? He's fantastic. He's absolutely fantastic as Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> That's Frankenstein. I mean, what, I mean, all the, the wonderful bits that he gets to say <laughs> as a Frank, as a Dr. Frankenstein or Frankenstein, if you prefer, uh, you know, my grandfather's work was doo-doo. <laughs> you know, uh, pardon me, boy. Is this the Chattanooga station? Yeah, yeah. Track 29. Can I give you a shine? Uh, no thanks, uh, you know, or, or you, know, uh, you know, life. I give my recreation life, and you know, or when he breaks down in hysterics, you know, I do not want to live. I do not want to live, Mama. It's great, great, great stuff. Or of course the classic. Okay, whatever you do, don't put the candle back, and on and on and on. Gene Wilder. God bless him. He's absolutely wonderful uh, in the role of Dr. Frankenstein. Or Frankenstein. Take your pick. Gene Wilder, fantastic. Uh, he's given a terrific supporting cast in this film. Marty Feldman, the late great Marty Feldman as Igor, or as he prefers to be called, Igor. Wow, Marty Feldman, man. I mean, what a phenomenal uh, British comic he was. I mean, he, he was great. And, of course, those eyes, you know, those those Marty Feldman eyes <laughs> that he had and his comic timing and, and uh, 
all of his shtick in this movie is hilariously funny. I mean, Marty Feldman, I mean, he's been gone a long, long time. He passed away back in 1982. But um, what a magnificent co uh, comedian he was and just so funny. And like I said, just, just look at the cover there. Those eyes, man. Those eyes. <laughs> uh, I think you know. You know that old, that old uh, early '80s hit, Betty Davis Eyes, uh, by Kim Carnes. I think somebody did a spoof of that called Marty Feldman Eyes. You know, she's got Marty Feldman eyes. Yeah, but yeah, Marty Feldman. He he's terrific in the role of Igor. Just just the perfect companion and and just just hilariously funny. I ain't got nobody, and nobody cares for me. And of course, I had a hunch. Yeah, Marty Feldman, terrific as Igor. Uh, Peter Boyle as the monster. Wonderful performance as, as, as the monster. I mean, he, 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 Peter Boyle, you know, he physically, he looks like the monster, but I mean, he also gives the monster a lot of great uh, humanity if you like. And of course, that, that great classic moment when, when Peter Boyle and Gene Wilder are doing the uh, Irving Berlin, the Irving Berlin production number, putting on the Ritz, you know, and Peter Boyle, putting on the Ritz, you know. Uh, great performance from Peter Boyle as, as the monster. Mm. He, he's great as the monster. I really like Peter Boyle. Terry Gar, the very lovely Terry Gar as Inga. She's a cutie, definitely a cutie, and uh, definitely very, very, very funny. Uh, as Inga, you know, roll, roll, roll in the hay. Yeah, I like Terry Gar a lot. Um, Cloris Leachman as Frau Blucher. <laughs> Frau Blucher, yeah, Cloris Leachman. She's uh, she's wonderful in the role. Ninety years old, she is. Cloris Leachman still with us at the age of ninety, just like Mel Brooks still with us at the age of ninety. Yeah, Cloris Leachman, man. But she's uh, very very funny. Is the very mysterious. Uh, Frau Blucher. Uh, I like Cloris Leachman in this film very much. Uh, Madeline Kahn, Lord rest her soul. Madeline Kahn, the one and only Madeline Kahn as Elizabeth, who's uh, uh, Gene Wilder's love interest in, in the movie, but then she later falls in love with the monster. <laughs> the monster wins her over in a very funny uh, seduction scene. I'll just leave it at that. Oh, man, it, I still can't believe Madeline Kahn is gone. You know, so many cast members in, in Young Frankenstein are, are, are gone now. It's just so sad. But uh, uh, Madeline Kahn, man, she she was a comic firecracker. She really, really was. She was really something special. Lovely lady and very, very funny. Um, and uh, she's really, really wonderful here in the role of Elizabeth. You know, uh, no tongue, no tongue. <laughs> not on the lips, not on the lips. Yeah, uh, love Madeline Kahn here as Elizabeth. Kenneth Mars as Inspector Kemp, or Inspector Kemp, excuse me. He has a prosthetic arm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's very, very funny as Inspector Kemp. Wonderful performance from Kenneth Mars. Um, I will also mention, uh, yes, of course, Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman in a, in a wonderful cameo role in one of his very few comic roles. In fact, has Gene Hackman ever done a comic role in any, in any other movie except uh, Young Frankenstein? Because I can't think of any, comic, uh, any other comic roles that Gene Hackman did. This may have been the only one he ever did. Gene Hackman, the wonderful, talented, Oscar-winning actor Gene Hackman, does this hilariously funny cameo as Harold the Blind man uh, and he has one very hilarious scene very hilarious scene uh, with Peter Boyle's monster uh, so yeah I really enjoyed seeing Gene Hackman uh, in this movie and as they say about Gene Hackman man Gene Hackman he's good at anything <laughs> yes he is uh, he's been retired from acting now for quite a few years but uh, still with us and um, definitely one of my favorite actors and yeah Gene Hackman very funny as Harold the Blind Man. Um, what can I say? Uh, again, Mel Brooks's direction is solid. The black and white photography on this film, which evokes the earlier Frankenstein films, is beautiful. Um, Gene Wilder and Mel Brooks's script is funny, funny, so damn funny. Um, and and also just just uh, the, the cast of this film is terrific. Everybody wonderful in their roles. You can see that everybody's having a good time in this film, and yet none of the humor 
in Young Frankenstein feels forced. It feels very, very natural. And actually, there were several bits in this movie uh, that were that were improvised. They just, you know, they were just tossed in by the actors. Mel Brooks liked what he what he saw, and I guess Gene Wilder also liked what he saw. And so they kept in some of these uh, these uh, ad libs. Like uh, Marty Feldman has an ad lib with his hump. That you know, first his hump is over here, and now all of a sudden his hump is over there. So there's a little gag in, involving Marty Feldman's hump as uh, Igor, and yet that was a totally improvised bit that Marty Feldman just tossed in, and <laughs> they left it in the movie. Um, so yeah, man, what, what, what else can I say about Young Frankenstein? I mean, this, this movie is a whole ton of fun. Uh, it's a comedy classic from start to finish. It's just so wonderfully done from start to finish. Total comedy gold. Um, I can't find any faults with it. None. I, I just think it's a, it's a wonderful uh, comedy gem, and a wonderful starring role for the late, great Gene Wilder. God bless him. God bless everybody uh, involved in the making of this film. And again, like I said, it's just so sad that so many of the cast members in this film are gone. As you know, we recently lost Gene Wilder. Marty Feldman gone a long time. Madeline Kahn's been gone uh, for a while now. Peter Boyle. Terry Garr is still with us, but apparently she's now suffering from multiple sclerosis, uh, although she's fighting. She's fighting, 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 and she's still with us. But, um, but yeah, everybody on this film is just so wonderful, and it's a wonderful comedy. I mean, wonderful, hilarious stuff uh, from start to finish, and as I said, it's a wonderful homage to the Frankenstein films of the past and, and Mary Shelley's original Frankenstein novel, all done with a lot of great love and care, courtesy of Gene Wilder, Mel Brooks, and company. Young Frankenstein, a wonderful comedy classic. I love it. All right, thumbs way up on Young Frankenstein. All right, and that's my review of Young Frankenstein. I have only one remaining Gene Wilder movie left in my DVD collection uh, to review for you on my channel. Oh, which movie will that be? Which movie will that be? Well, you'll just have to tune in next time and find out as I wrap up my tribute to the late, great Gene Wilder with the one remaining movie that I have left in my movie collection that stars Gene Wilder. I'll keep it a secret. Just keep watching, and you'll, you'll find out what it is. This is Alan. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me down below, and I'll see you next time.